Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my May favorites video. This is my third time filming this video now. It's been a very unsuccessful day of filming. It's been raining for three days where I live in Michigan and it's very dark outside and just like wet and gloomy. So not very fun and not very bright. I have several things to show you guys and the first two attempts filming this were like 25 minute long videos so I know it's gonna be a long one so let's just get started so first I'm going to show you guys my makeup and skincare favorites but the first thing that I have is the Mac pro Longwear pressed powder it just looks like this I bought it maybe a couple weeks ago at the Mac store it comes with this little sponge but I don't use this I don't really like sponges that come with powders that much so I don't use this that often. I've used it one or two times. Um, usually I'll just use a kabuki brush and I use it to set my face. And this was $27, which is pretty expensive for a powder, but it's so worth it. It's such a good powder and it's the first MAC powder that I've ever owned and I really like it. Next, I have a NYX eyeshadow and this is a single eyeshadow. This is in the color Over the Taupe and it's just like it says in the title. A taupey brown color and it's such a nice color I found this at Ulta it was like four dollars and I'm wearing it right now it's just such a nice matte taupe color and I'm wearing it on my lid and I really really like it and I will be buying more single eyeshadows from NYX because it is really really nice and it's matte and I really like it next I have another NYX product this is the NYX soft matte lip cream and this one is in the color Istanbul it's a neutral pink color it's a bit more pink in the bottle than it actually is on the, like, outside of the bottle. Um, and it is a bit darker than I thought it would be, but it is still such a nice color. I want to get a couple more of these because everybody really liked them and I didn't really understand why. I didn't really know why everybody was so obsessed with them, but now I realize it. And they are really good. They are $5.99 each and... They dry on your lips so you can drink, you can eat, and they won't come off at all. It's just, they're great. And I expect to get a couple more of them in the near future. Next, I just have a Maybelline foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, the matte and poreless one. And it just looks like this. It's in a glass bottle and it's in the color ivory, which is one of the lightest ones because I am pale. And it's just such a nice drugstore foundation. I want to say it was only $6 and it is so good. It It's amazing. I put it on the back of my hand and then I use a foundation brush to put it on my face. And then I blend it with a powder brush. And it's really, really good. It makes your face look so matte and just amazing. So I really like it. On to skincare favorites. I have three things. The first one is... The Lush Mask of Magnum and Tea. This is the self-preserving one. I don't like this one as much as the regular one. I don't know if there's like a huge difference between them, but I did pick up this one and I think the other one works just a bit better, but this is still a really good face mask. I use this two to three times a week. After I get out of the shower, I'll put it on my face, let it dry, and rinse it off after about 20 minutes or so. Guys, my face has cleared up so much this month. If you guys remember my first video, I had a couple breakouts on my face. Now, if I were to wear no makeup, there would be nothing there. My face has cleared up so much, and these are all really inexpensive products, so it's amazing how much they have worked for my skin. Um, I bought this a couple weeks ago. I didn't really need the biggest one right now, but I probably will buy the biggest one soon, and I'll buy the non-self-preserving one. But this is a really good face mask. It smells like, it smells like minty, which I guess that's why it's called Magna Minty. It's like a weird kind of hint of a smell to it, I guess. But it does smell pretty good and I really like it. These last two skincare products kind of go hand in hand. These are the St. Ives Scrub. This is my favorite one. This is the Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub. This is my second tube of this one. This completely cleared my skin. Like, Completely. I have not had a breakout in weeks. I've tried like the Clinique $60 set with like the wash, the and, like the liquid that you put over your face after and then the lotion and that did not even work as well as these do and these are $3 a tube. This one is the Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. This one is a bit harsher on your skin. It doesn't hurt. It's just really, really exfoliating. Like this one is like 
this one has like smaller beads in it and this one has like larger ones so this one's a bit rougher um but they're both really really good and I keep this one in my shower and then I keep this one in my bathroom I use this in the shower and then I use this either in the morning or at night it depends on when I take my shower because if I take my shower in the morning I'll use this at night and if I take my shower at night then I'll use this in the morning um, and they work so well. They've cleared up my skin so, so well. So I really love both of these. And like I said, I got them at Target and they were only $3 each. Now on to my fashion favorites of the month. The first thing that I have to show you guys is this t-shirt dress from Brandy Melville. This is burgundy and white stripes. I bought this for Florida and sorry, my Twitter keeps popping up on my thing. Um, I bought this for Florida. Um, when I went back in April and I wear it way more than I should now. It's just such a nice soft t-shirt dress. It doesn't really go the full length on me. Like I'm 5'5", five five, which is like average, I guess, but um, I have a really long torso and kind of short. These are so comfortable. All of Brandy Melville's stuff is so soft and so comfortable, except for this one jacket that I own, but it's a jacket. It shouldn't be like comfortable you know what I mean so I really like it it was $23 I want to say and I ordered it online because I live in Michigan like I said before and the nearest Brandy Melville is in Canada next I have these Vody shorts from Brandy Melville and these are really comfortable to sleep in I don't wear them out in public because they are a bit short but they are so comfortable and I sleep in them all the time you can probably get them along with the t-shirt dress at PacSun but I did order online because online shopping is always so much better than shopping in stores. You can get so many more things online than you can in store. And PacSun's Brandy Melville like section is kind of small, at least at my PacSun it is. So Brandy Melville online is the way to go. To sort of piggyback on those, I have these shorts from Forever 21. These are some flowy, I don't know if they're really tribal print, but they are really printed shorts. They're light tan, like a darker tan, and then indigo. I also bought these for Florida and they are so comfortable. They did shrink a little bit because I did dry them and I guess I wasn't supposed to. It says on there, do not dry, but I didn't read the tag and I just dried them anyway, so they have shrunk a little bit. They're so much more comfortable than denim shorts. They're so cute if you wear them with like a plain top and like a cardigan which is what I'm doing today. The other printed shorts that I was gonna show you guys, but then I decided to wear them. They're also from Forever 21 and they are my favorite, which is why I'm wearing them today. For my next fashion favorites, I have these bralettes from Urban Outfitters. These are the halter lace bralettes and they just look like this. I have a black one and it's so comfortable. I wear this so much, it's not even funny. And then this one, which I haven't really worn that much, the gray kind of looks like different so it doesn't look like it doesn't really look as good under so many things but it is still comfortable because they're the same thing these were $20 each and I ordered them online from Urban because they did not have them in store when I went they were out so I didn't want to get like a red one because when do I ever wear red I don't lastly for fashion favorites I have a pair of sunglasses I believe these are from forever 21 I got them a year ago they're just round frames with gold on the outsides and I'm sure you can find something just like them at Forever 21. They are one of the only pairs that look decent on me. Sunglasses don't look that good on me, but these look pretty good I'd have to say. Um, and they are my favorite sunglasses ever. They were probably like $5 because Forever 21 sunglasses are so cheap. That's it for my fashion favorites and now on to my movie favorite. I only have two movie favorites this month because I haven't really been watching that many movies which is weird for me because I watch a lot of movies but my favorite movies this month have been Pitch Perfect 2. It was so good. It was better than the first one. All the music was so good in it. Everybody that was in the first one was in this one and it's just such a good movie. I love it so much and it's just awesome. I really like it and all the music was so good. And I definitely would go see it again. I don't know how much longer it's going to be in theaters, but I'm definitely going to try to go make it out and see it again before it leaves theaters, and then I'll probably end up buying it on DVD because it was so, so good, and I love it. 
My other movie favorite for this month was The Other Woman. Um, I've seen it probably a hundred times. It's my mom's favorite movie. It's my favorite movie. It's just such a good movie. It's so funny. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's with Cameron Diaz, Leslie Mann, and Kate Upton. Now on to TV favorites. I have three TV shows that I want to talk about this month. So my first favorite TV show for this month is Friends. My mom and I started watching it a couple weeks ago and it's such a good show. I'm only on like the 10th episode. We watch it like on the Wii on Netflix in the living room, but we only do it when my dad's not here because my dad doesn't really have any interest in it and my dad works every other night. So um, that's when we get to watching it and we only watch one to two a night. Say so we're going to watch like three, but then we get tired or I get tired or she gets tired. I go to sleep so early. So we watch like one or two episodes, um, whatever we can and... We have a lot to go because there's like 10 seasons and my second favorite show for the month is The Fosters. I don't really know why I'm including this in this video because I haven't even watched it this month but it is coming back June 8th so I kind of wanted to throw it in there because I am so excited for it to come back. Honestly the best show that I've ever watched. It's so so good and I just really really like it. It's amazing. I watched the first season um, last year around this time on Netflix and then I sort of like watched the rest as it came out because I was all caught up when it came out last June um, for the second season yeah for the second season I remember distinctly that I watched like all 21 of the first season episodes in like three days I watched like seven a day oh so if you don't watch it you should definitely check it out it's amazing I highly highly recommend it and it's my favorite show in the world my last favorite show is House. Um, I wanted to include that in this video because I've been watching it since September, but I did take a break from like March to the beginning of this month. It's been taking me so long to watch it. There's eight seasons. I watched like the first five from like September to December. Watched the sixth season over like the last month or so. Like I really slowed down. Like I used to watch three plus a night and then I slowed down to like one every couple days. Um, so that's what was happening. But I caught up with it again and I am at the seventh season. I think like close to the middle of the seventh season. Um, but I'm really excited to finish it because it's been so long. And it's just such a good show. If you don't watch that, you should definitely check it out on Netflix. The last category that I have is music favorites. I only have a couple for this month. The first one is the Maroon 5 album 5. It came out in September, which is when I downloaded it. But now that it's getting into summer, it's kind of more fun to listen to. Um, so my least favorite song on the album is Sugar because it plays all the time and I am so sick of hearing it because like on the radio it came out in like January ish where I live but that's when everybody started listening to it and I started listening to it in September so like I've heard it so many times that it's literally redundant now um, and I just I don't like it as much but I love 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 In Your Pocket and I love Coming Back For You and Leaving California so much they are such good songs and I really love them um such a good album the next thing that I have is the song I'm a wonder by the cab I just heard it actually like a week ago my friend started playing it in the car on the way to school and it's so good it sounds like it should be in the movie lol uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie that is definitely my all-time favorite movie I didn't want to put it in this video because it's like more of an all-time favorite rather than like a monthly favorite but it's such a good movie and I feel like that song belongs in that movie. It's just so good. If you guys haven't heard it, I will link it down below. And I will link the three Maroon 5 songs that I mentioned down below as well. That is all for my favorites video. I just wanted to do a little side note for you guys that my birthday was yesterday. Um, so I know most people do like a birthday haul. For my birthday for my parents, I'm getting a trip to Chicago in a couple of weeks with my mom, my best friend, and her mom. And we we're going for the weekend in a couple of weeks and that was like my main gift for my parents also got me um, some cash. Um, they did give me that and then they had a family party for me so all of my gifts from my family party are like cash and like gift cards and stuff so it wouldn't be really fun to watch me just like show you guys a bunch of cash and gift cards so um, I'm going to do a Chicago haul instead which is gonna be like my birthday haul because um, it's going to be like actual stuff and it'll be like what I bought with my birthday money. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like my channel always be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.